statement. I am utterly perplexed. Three million dollars in your precious LA. Why not go? Why not? You wanna know what stopped me of all things? Hamlet. But you were ghastly. You said so. Deirdre agreed. The papers, everyone in New York, I heard, and that's part of it. Last night, right from the start, I knew I was bombing. I sounded big and phony, real V and thou, and then I started rushing. Hi, what's new in Denmark? <laughs> <laughs> just could not connect. Couldn't get a hold of it. And while I'm babbling, I look out, and there's this guy in the audience, a kid, like in the second row, obviously dragged there, and he's yawning, and he's jiggling his legs, and he's reading his program, and I just want to say, hey, kid, I'm with you. I can't stand this either. But I couldn't say that. So I keep feeling worse and worse, just drowning. And then, then I thought, okay, all my questions are answered. I'm not Hamlet. I'm no actor. What am I doing here? Then I got to the soliloquy, the big job, and I'm standing there in the headlights, and I just said, oh, Christ, the hell with it. Just do it. To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep no more. And by sleep to say we end the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished to die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. And I kept going, and I finished the speech, and I look out, and there's the kid, and he's listening. The whole audience, complete silence, total focus, and I was Hamlet. lasted about 10 more seconds. <laughs> then I was back in hell. <laughs> and I had stayed there. But for that one little bit, for that speech, I got it. I had it. Hamlet. And only 8,000 lines left to go.